we've always wanted to provide osteopathic education for a wider audience. So our commitment has always been to part-time learners, adults in particular, and those who are seeking to look for another career opportunities. Once I went to Oxford for a fascial manipulation course and there was a one osteopath who really inspired me with his knowledge, with his confidence, with his questions. He actually sparked on why I actually am here now and since two months after that course I was already on the January started course. I think the fact that it's a part-time course does enable you even with a family to pick up the course and gradually reduce your workload in your private life as and when you need to. I know a lot of people started working a five day week that have gone down to three and also over the past two years I've actually dropped a lot of office based work and I've picked up more relevant massage work for the course because in year two you do gain a qualification which enables you to start setting up yourself and treating people at home. The training and the scenarios that are given here are very diverse and varied so that when you do go out there and become an osteopath yourself, you're prepared for when real patients come to you. The College of Osteopaths has two programmes. The Northern programme is the only one that is fully part-time from year one. Even though this is a Northern based course, I wouldn't be able to do the course if it was only in London. So the tutors have allowed me to start later in the morning because I've got to leave my children at school before I drive here. I would recommend the study here because it's a small group. We have like 15 students, so tutors can focus on you and correct your techniques or spend more time with you actually. For me personally, I feel that in the past I've done courses to earn money and my priorities have been different. This course has shown me that I'm a lot cleverer than I thought. It's given me confidence, I love it. And to be honest, if I have to study, I want to study something that I really want to learn. So this has worked perfectly for me. It's hard, but it's interesting, so it doesn't feel like hard work. The best way to train as an osteopath is you do your background work, you do your classroom work, but then you have to come in and get to grips with patients under fairly tightly controlled clinical conditions and you have to have good clinical support. You have to have good technique support, which means that your clinic tutor is going to come and put his hands where yours are and say, do it this way or do that way. Have you thought about this? We're very good at teaching adults. And although circumstances change, things are fairly stable. Jobs don't change, families don't change, demands don't change, human beings don't change that much. But basically, we just train people well. Now, I used to think when I first became a clinic tutor that teaching was all about technicality and so on and so forth. Actually, it's about relationship and training. Everybody comes as a different shape, different form, and everybody will make a slightly different osteopath. It's our job to bring it out. We take learners who don't have to have traditional qualifications. We take learners who have potential. And hopefully we see that potential and we help that learner to believe in themselves and develop that potential and become professionals. It's the best thing.